Pop culture continued to pop along this week. Just one week after the hashtag Mute R. Kelly campaign rolled out, Spotify decided to hit the silent button on all his songs. No more telling Alexa to play Keep It On The Down Low anymore using that Swedish streaming service. And Childish Gambino, a.k.a. Donald Glover, a.k.a. Mr. Voodoo, according to alt-right ranter Alex Jones, released a new woke music video for his song This Is America, in which he struggles through experiences as a black man, simultaneously oppressing and being oppressed, but past misogyny the comments he made about black women, which resurfaced in the wake of celebrations about the genius of his video, means that in some important ways, he might still be asleep. But the breakthrough pop culture moment of the week comes from the world of politics, specifically the world according to Maxine Waters. The California congresswoman had to both reclaim her time and snatch the wig off of her white male colleague who told her during a debate on banking anti-discrimination measures that he knew more about racial discrimination than she did. I guess in some ways he does. And that we are, quote, making America great, close quote. However, when she raised her finger at him, like I've seen too many times in my life, I knew it was over. She got him together by demanding that he remain in the chamber as she read him, all while telling him that he would get, quote, not one second, close quote, more of her time for debate. Situations like this are happening way too often right now, not only with Maxine Waters, but with people in exchanges large and small all across America. People fearful of demographic change attempt to reassert their dominance with everything from dismissive language to unnecessarily calling the cops. Many of them seem to want to go back to a time when they could do so without question. Well, nobody is going back. Not one second, not one second. I'm Amara Jones, and this is The Last Set.